The profs agreed to talk about the department, so let's see if he's in. I love this cartoon. All the other members of staff presented it to him when he got his Nobel Prize. Professor Wilkinson, I really enjoyed your third year lecture course on homogeneous catalysis and industrial processes. Has your work always been closely related to industry? Um, well, during the last 30 years I've been working on organometallic compounds and complexes of transitional elements. I think I can say that all the major industrial uh, chemical and petroleum uh, chemical uh, industries throughout the world have been working along the same sort of lines, yes. Do you think that chemistry is merely a tool used by industry or that there are areas of research which are interesting in their own right? Oh, there are certainly uh, interesting areas in their own right. There's a continuum between academic and industrial chemistry. Uh, uh, the, the major difference is that uh, university research is essentially non-programmed. I mean, one plays the game as one likes it, whereas in industry they usually have specific objectives in mind. Many students tend to be overawed by your reputation and instead of approaching you after a lecture with problems they use a certain inorganic textbook. Um, would you prefer to have more contact with the student body? Well, there's absolutely no reason why students should be overawed by <laughs> my reputation. Uh, if they don't come to see me, that's their own fault. My door is always open. Professor Wilkins, without any prejudice whatsoever, which do you think is the best chemistry department in the country and why? Well, I, I certainly like to think this is one of the best, not only in this country, but in the entire world. And I think one of the things that makes our department unique for un undergraduates is the amount of practical work we have in the laboratories. Do you think students today show the same enthusiasm as students did when you were at Imperial College? Oh yes, I, I don't think there's any difference in the interest or enthusiasm of students, but uh, the major difference is that uh, students these days have uh, got many more tools, uh, physical tools that they can use in the laboratories and the level of chemistry is much more sophisticated than it was 40 years ago.